fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel or returning to the channel, if you haven't already, slap that subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it in the video. If you're a new subscriber, I'm gonna be giving a shout out to all the new subscribers at the end of the video, so make sure you don't miss that, and if you've got a channel, I'll promote it. Right, in today's video, what we're gonna be doing, it's something I wanted to do for quite a while. Now, as you'll know, I've got a G4 and I upgraded it. Today's gonna to be a comparison test between a standard G4 and a modified G4. So, obviously my G4 is modified, so what I've done, I've put it back to how it was before. Obviously the bearings have been re-greased, so it's gonna have the standard brush roll in there, the standard mini emptier. So what we're gonna do is see what it is as standard. So in standard mode, see what it picks up with the 10 pass test. 50 grams of sand, make it fair. And then we're gonna do a version of it upgraded and see what it picks up on the 10 pass test. So it'll be upgraded versus normal. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Okay, so the scales are zeroed. I'm gonna put bag A on. And bag A, what we'll do is put that in the G4 before it's upgraded. And that weighs 70.08. Okay, so I'm just gonna weigh bag B. So this is bag B, and bag B weighs screen in 69.04. So that again is as you can see bag B. Okay, it's pot number one, and we're gonna put 50 grams of sand in. Or close as. So the orange one. We we'll use on the young. The orange one we use on the standard G4. It's got to be going in bag A. So again, that's 50.07 grams of sand. And green one, whoops. A green cup. Fifty grams. Really, really, ooh, too much. Green one is 50.04. That's me breathing. So, welcome to the comparison. So, on my right, I've got a standard G4, and on my left, I've got nothing. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to upgrade it after. What we're going to do is, I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to fit a brand new brush roll in it. Again, the brush roll I actually bought for it, but then I upgraded it. I'll just zoom in, quickly show you the brush roll. And I'm going to put a new belt on it as well. Obviously this has been running around with the oblique brush roll in it anyway. I'll leave that oblique brush roll as it is because it seems to have been competing against everything else anyway and killed it. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in so you can see that I'm, it's actually standard and I'm just changing the brush roll in it to a standard brush roll. So we'll just zoom in. Right, so we've got the standard G4 and this is the original brush roll that's in there in the original head and it's 25 years old, okay? I'll zoom in after and show you what year the, the G4 is. So we're just gonna take this brush roll out, and we're gonna put in exactly the same brush roll, oops, wrong way around. As you can see, exactly the same with the double bristles. So it's just a standard brush roll, but obviously it doesn't come with a plastic end anymore. It comes with the ball bearing there. So we're just gonna take that out, and we're gonna fit the new one with a brand new belt. Okay, so there's a new belt, and put that on, and then we've got to go three, two, one, same on this side, three, two, one, one, and I'm going to put that in there, so you can see. Okay, 
Now the bearings have been re-greased as you know in this Kirby. This is just a video I meant to make for ages and I never did. So I'll wind that belt on. Oh, I've got it stiff that was. We've got the standard boot, so again it's a standard boot and hose and it's got the original hose actually in there so I'll just zoom up so you can see it's got the original hose in there as well. So we're just going to fit bag A in there and this has only been used twice. I finally found my A and B bags where I put them. I had to number up some others, one and two. Okay, so you can see that's on, perfect. So we just tuck her in, zip her up. And that's ready to rock and roll. Right, so I didn't think it'd be the same without me wearing my boxing gloves. Obviously some people like them, so I thought I'd wear the boxing gloves because we're gonna have a bit of a punch off G4 against G4. Obviously the same G4, which one's gonna be upgraded. So obviously I can't vac the mat with the G4, so I'm gonna use my Sentry out with a brand new blue brush roll in here. I'm gonna go over it for, for four minutes again so that there shouldn't be anything in this mat whatsoever. Um, it is pretty spotless. Um, and I will be checking the dirt meter after, but there shouldn't be anything in there whatsoever. It has been vaxxed with the G4 previously, with the modified G4, so there's nothing in there, and I did weigh out what it took out. So what we'll do is we'll just play some music for you. Um, I'll vac it off, set it all up. We'll come back to it and do the 10 pass test. See you in a minute. Okay, so we just go in, see that, four minutes.
So we've got the standard G4. Oops, there's nothing in that. We've got the standard G4 with the standard brush roll in there. Just a, a new one and a new belt. Now I've vacked it over four minutes with the Centria 2. I did use a dirt meter and nothing came out. It's pointless showing you me doing that. So headphone users turn them down. It's just going to be 10 passes as normal. Right, so just gonna take this out. Okay. Yeah, I can feel there's definitely sun in there. Okay, and that, as you can see, is bag A. I'll tip it. And the hose. Skin. There you go. Bag A. Okay, so the scales are set at zero. Got bag A. I'm drop that on. And that's Wayne. Lower you down. One oh eight point five two three. So one oh eight point five three we'll say to make it uh, five two. So one oh eight point five two. Right, so we've got our newly upgraded G four and what I did earlier was I weighed the bags out, so this is bag B, going in our newly upgraded G4. And it's 10 times easier to fit. Slot that on, push that over, and fold that over, like so. Easy as. Okay, so we just poke that in. And hopefully this should make a major difference. Right, so we've got our G4 set up, all plugged in. I'm just going to sprinkle the sand down. So it's 50 grams again. Okay, I'm just going to rub that in. Okay, now what we're going to do to make it fair, I noticed in, on the previous part I did 12 passes. So I'm going to do 12 passes with this. So headphone users turn them down. And we're just going to do 12 passes. Take the bag out. And that, should I say, is bag B. Okay, so this one had a starting weight of 69.04. Now it's got to pick up more than 38.44 grams to beat standard G4. So bag B. And that's weighing 115, I'll show you down so you can see. 115.72. Right, so I've got the stats which I'll put on the screen as we go. So when we started off with a standard G4, with a standard brush roll, 
a new standard bush roll, brand new belt, standard bag. We had a starting weight with a new with a bag in there of 70.08. A finishing weight after 12 passes. I meant to do 10, but I did 12 by mistake. And a finishing weight of 108.52, which means the standard G4 picked up 38.44 grams with 12 passes. Okay, then we upgraded the G4, put a new brush roll in, a new, new portable head, we put a new portable head on there, or power nozzle, we put a new oblique brush roll and a new belt, and we fitted the later style mini empty. So again, we had a starting weight of bag B 69.04, and we had a finishing weight of 11572 which means the G G6 the G4 upgraded picked up with 12 passes 46.68 so it nearly picked up the 50 grams I reckon if we'd have gone 14 passes it'd have picked up the 50 grams so it picked up 8.24 grams more than its standard component so that just shows you that the extra power with the motor running at 700 watts as opposed to 635 you upgrade the bag upgrade the brush roll to the oblique brush roll and it's going to pick up you could say i'd say minimum five grams more i mean this picked up 8.24 so that just shows upgrade your g4s <laughs> the proof's in the pudding i can't i can't comprehend it anymore um i'm just well impressed and i knew i knew the suction was good and I knew it was picking up a lot more. I mean, for it to be a blitz in the, the Avalia, it had to be down to those two upgrades. So again, I'm gonna give a shout out to all my new subscribers, but first I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone for watching. I'd like to give a shout out to everyone for watching. If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the channel and you're returning to the channel, then please, please, please slap that subscribe button to support me, ding that bell for notifications, and give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like me to comment, one will pin it to the video, and if I call you as a new subscriber, I'll promote your channel if you've got one. I can't say fairer than that. So again, if you haven't already, slap that subscribe button, one, it'll put a big smile on my face, and two, it'll save you going away feeling bad because you didn't slap the subscribe. So I'll just give a shout out to the new subscribers. All right, put these on again. <laughs> I hate wearing my glasses. Right, so overnight, um, I've gained some more subscribers. I'm going to give a shout out to one I shouted out in the previous episode anyway, because I think I pronounced his name wrong. I think it's Steve Stebbs or something, but it's actually Steve Staffs. So thanks for subscribing, Steve. Much appreciated. Um, last night, I got a Joe Kel Kel Kelicher. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So thanks for your support. Thanks for subscribing. It makes my channel grow even better, and it keeps this content coming more. I'll be able to put more into it as soon as I get monetized. Um, I've got Shane Love and I've got a Daniel Simon. Um, Daniel, I did go on your, on your actual page um, and there's some guy walking across hot coals. You've only got the one video. Um, I don't know how they do that, but that was the one video I saw. Um, the other three, I haven't had a chance to go to have a look because I've been at work, been working. But again, I want to thank everyone for watching. Everyone subscribing. The quicker we can grow this channel, the better. Don't forget, as soon as we hit 500 subscribers, I've got another question going out for someone to win that fantastic G6. And it is a fantastic G6. It's practically new. It's only been used, obviously the lady used it, packed it away. I've used it just for a couple of demos, which you've seen, the fight-offs, and you've seen it actually kill the ultimate G. It, it obliterated the Sentry 2. Um, and we'll see, gonna see how it compares against the G4. I'm hoping that the G4 can beat it, but we'll wait until that episode and to wait until we see it. So again, those of you new to the channel, if you haven't already, show your support, make me smile, slap that subscribe button, slap that subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. Well, I will reply to the comments, and if you'd like to comment, I'll pin it to the video, and if you're a new subscriber, I'll give you a shout out at the end of every episode, and if you've got a channel and I've got a chance to look at it, and if you've got a channel and you've got, I've got a chance to look at it, I'll promote your channel. So make me small, slap that subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications, big thumbs up and comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one. With my G4 as a standard, so my G4 is, 
It's going to be today's going to be a stand sand there. Yeah. So today's video is going to be a bit of a sand test, and um, obviously you know, the bearings have been renewed. Um, um, it's got the standard brush roll in there. It's going to have the standard boot on there as well. Um, everything, everything standard. So what we're going to do is do a ten pass test and see what it picks up in standard mode. And then what we'll do is we'll do it when it's upgraded and we'll see what it picks up with the 10 pass test when it's upgraded. And then what we're gonna do is when it's upgraded, we're gonna put it and see, do it. Um, I'll like to give a thank you. So I'll leave that a brook, I'll leave that a blue yeah. And then we'll come back to it and put the sand in here. So, pass. so what we'll do is, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly give some music while I back it off and then we'll come back and it will all be set up. 